And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sierra College as we get ready for game one of the three games set this week between your Sierra College Wolverines and the visiting Modesto Junior College Pirates. First pitch scheduled for two o'clock. And so I will be turning off the sound here shortly. And we will resume in about 10 minutes or so. Give you starting lineups.
And good afternoon, fans. Welcome to Rockland, California, here for today's home game between your Sierra College Wolverines and the visiting Modesto Junior College Pirates. Today's game is being live streamed, so let your family and friends know. Anybody who is unable to make it out to the field today, they can catch it live as it's taking place on Sierra College Baseball Live, the channel on YouTube. Tell them to go to YouTube, Sierra College Baseball Live. Our first pitch is scheduled for 2 o'clock, a little less than 10 minutes from now. As we prepare for today's game, the starting lineup for the Modesto Junior College Pirates. Leading off number 14, right fielder Logan Hart. Batting second, number seven, center fielder Paul Contreras. Batting third, number 20, second baseman Bryce Campbell. Batting fourth, number 23, left fielder Jacob Coase. Batting fifth, number 24, third baseman Aaron Martinez. Batting six, number eight, shortstop Landon Nunes. Batting seventh, number 16, first baseman Jason Deshaun. Batting eighth, number 28, catcher Carson Kripe. Batting ninth, number nine, designated hitter Dylan Fuller. And starting on the mound today for the Pirates, number three, Christopher Nino. Be back in a couple of minutes with the starting lineup for your Wolverines and the National Anthem.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce your Sierra College Wolverines. Leading off for the Wolverines, designated hitter number 14, Brady Ranello. Batting second, number 10, left fielder Mason Oliphant. Batting third, number 16, right fielder Owen Faith. Batting fourth, number 20, first baseman Devin Carter. Batting fifth, number 18, shortstop Cohen Meyer. Batting sixth, number eight, third baseman Elijah White. Batting seventh, number 22, center fielder Zach Jenkins. Batting eighth, number 25, catcher Connor Smith. And batting ninth, number six, second baseman Masayuki Kawashima. And starting on the mound today for your Wolverines, number three, Tyler Olsen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats facing the flag flying in left field as we honor our nation with the national anthem. And so welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are just minutes away from first pitch here in Rockland. Game one of this week's series, three-game series between these two teams, the Sierra College Wolverines and the visiting Modesto Junior College Pirates. Pirates coming in hot in the Big 8 Conference, 12-1 and one in conference. Wolverines... 10 and 5 right now, 13 and 13 overall. Should be a good one. Looking forward to it. Tyler Olson on the mound for Sierra College today. Tyler, the uh, usual game one starter for the Wolverines. 6'3 sophomore out of Santa Teresa. On the mound, throwing to Connor Smith. Gets most of the work for the Wolverines behind the plate. No big lineup changes. Olsen comes in with one win, no losses. In nine appearances, five of those starts. One more pitch. And we are ready to get underway. And yes, indeed. 
Here comes the base coach, and here comes our leadoff batter. Now batting for the Pirates, number 14, right fielder Logan Hart. Hart swings on that first pitch, sending it flying in the right field. Owen Faith takes a couple steps back, makes the grab for out number one. Now batting number seven, center fielder Paul Contreras. Well, first pitch said 201 on my clock. First pitch, first out. And that first strike. Coming to Contreras. Next pitch outside. Contreras batting 326 on the season. Three bombs and a triple. Has some hits to his record. Two and one the count. Olsen's pitch again outside. Three and one. Swing and sends that one to left field. Mason Oliphant unable to get there in time. Home plate um, umpire indicating fair. And Contreras takes two, slides in safe as the ball comes in. So a double for Paul Contreras. Now batting number 20, second baseman Bryce Campbell. Yeah, the ball came down, and uh, we're unable to see. You're un unable to see it on the camera, but the uh, – uh, Left and right field corners, for that matter, are both obstructed by a little fence that jets out. So we depend upon the umpire to indicate, and sure enough, he did. Oliphant was at full steam trying to get over there and unable to get there in time. That pitch on the outer edge for strike one. One and one now. Luis Martinez checking in. Grandma from Colorado. Hello there. Good to have you and all of the family and friends that are catching today's ball game. Swing and a miss. Ball got away from Smith. No problem recovering that really quick. Runner stayed put at second. Olson looks in, says yes. Checks up on the runner. and Another pitch loan outside. Two and two the count with one out here in the top of the first. Bryce Campbell, second baseman, batting third today. Pitch outside takes us to the full count. Swing, little one bounce over to third, makes the long throw, and he is out. Contreras is able to take third. Two away now for the Pirates. Now batting number 23, left fielder Jacob Coase. So Coase comes to the plate. 
Third best batting average on Modesto with the 368. Swings on that first pitch, and it drifts foul off to the left-hand side, dropping into the uh, visitor bullpen. Coe's playing all 23 games, starting in all but one. 18 RBI on the season. Sends that one into center field. Zach Jenkins jogs back, makes the grab for the out. We're going to go to the bottom of the first scoreless here in Rockland. And leading off for your Wolverines, number 14, designated hitter, Brady Ranallo. So Ranallo steps to the plate, starting things off as he kind of checked it. Ball hits the bat. And bunt, it is thrown down to first. Ranello out. Now batting for the Wolverines, left fielder Mason Oliphant. First pitch to Oliphant down the middle for strike one. Ronaldo was just trying to hold that up and made contact. It was fair, so he had to go. Oh, and two now to Mason Oliphant, right fielder Owen Faith on deck. Swings fouled back to the net. Oliphant batting 304 on the year. And that pitch is high for the first ball. One and two. Twenty-four hits and three doubles. Swings sending that one foul off to the left hand side.
Nice day and really uh, probably best weather of the week. So we hear is another uh, storm supposed to be coming in this weekend. Actually, later this week. It's supposed to have something tomorrow here and Thursday, possibly Friday during the day, I think definitely and Saturday, possibly. Checks holds up. Ace Empire says he goes. And so that's going to be the K for Oliphant. Now batting for the Wolverines, right fielder Owen Faith. So two down for Sierra and Owen Faith, the right fielder. Steps up and swings on that first pitch. Strike one. Six foot 185 freshman out of Western Sierra High. Watch his strike two come across. Swings, sends that one in the right field. As the right fielder, Logan Hart, takes just a couple steps to the right and says, I got it for the third and final out. We'll go to the second inning. Still scored us in Rockland. Leading off the second inning for the Pirates, number 24, third baseman Aaron Martinez. First pitch, a ball to Martinez. Again, he is uh, batting in the five hole today. He'll be followed by Landon Nunes and Jason Deshaun. That pitch just misses outside, 2-0. and oh. Swing, that one sent skyward. And Connor Smith, underneath it, makes the out off the pop-up and one down. Now batting number eight, shortstop Landon Nunes. First pitch to Nunes on the outer part of the plate and catches strike one. Noons with the uh, second best average on the Pirates, batting 385, playing in 18 of the 23 games. Swings and sends that one into left field for the base hit. Now batting number 16, first baseman Jason Deshaun. So the second hit for the Pirates. 
had that double there in the first inning. Paul Contreras. And so Noons leading off there at first. Nice movement catches the corner and strike one. Noons four stolen bases on the season thus far. Caught stealing twice. See what he does. Own two to Deshaun as Olsen pulls back. Says regroup. Let's try it again. That pitch outside. Smith throws to first, but way offline as Devin Carter reaches over, unable to grab it. Ball goes into right field, but Noons doesn't go anywhere. He stays right there. The ball didn't go too far, and Owen Faith was right there backing him up. Throw back to first. Swing. That one sent in the right field, and Owen Faith underneath that catches it. So Nunes returns to first for the second out. Now batting number 28, catcher Carson Kripe. Cheap Band-Aids checking in. Hi, Louise. And, uh, you know, I, I, it's so wonderful to see them. We still got the cowbell on hand, so thank you very much. And Louise Martinez, hello. Noons takes off for a second. The throw over, not going to be in time. So chalk that up to the fifth stolen base of the year for Landon Noons. Looked like down the middle. It must have been a little low. 2-0 the count to Carson Kripe. Catch his plate. Two and one. Kripe batting 315 on the air. Now one low, three and one now. Kripe, six, one, two, ten. Sophomore from uh, Modesto out of Oakdale High School. Grounder to second. And Kawashima makes the throw in time. We're going to go to the bottom of the second. Still scoreless here in Rockland.
Leading off the bottom of the second inning for the Wolverines, number 20, first baseman Devin Carter. Cheap band aids checking in once again. Yes, indeed. They uh, hooked me up with the cowbell here, so I got the Sierra version of the cowbell. Missed out on last week's games. Well, it was a tough one last week, but I know you guys were uh, traveling, so so nice to be able to uh, see family. And again, if we have other family out there, please drop on by and say hi. 2-0 to Devin Carter, first baseman for the Wolverines. That pitch outside from Nino. Carter batting in the cleanup spot today will be followed by the shortstop, Cohen Meyer, and then Elijah White, third baseman, 4, 5, and 6 in the batting order. Now down the middle for strike one. Three and one. And that's going to be a walk. First man on for the Wolverines. Now batting for Sierra College, shortstop Cohen Meyer. Meyer drops the bunt down, hands for first as he successfully moves the base runner over. Now batting for Sierra College, third baseman Elijah White. So the first base runner is on for Sierra and already moved over to second. Modesto left runners on second in the first and second inning. And that one fouled back to the right-hand side. One on one now with the one out. Center fielder Zach Jenkins on deck. And that one, strike two. Nino with a 471 ERA so far on the season. That pitch outside, two and two. Has five starts and three wins for the Pirates. Eight appearances overall. Swing, sending that one into left field. And with the out, that's Jacob Coase. Now batting for Sierra College, number 19, center fielder Zach Jenkins. First pitch just misses outside one and oh. That one high two and oh. Two 
two outs. And that one registered strike one. One runner on second for the Wolverines. Jenkins would like the opportunity to drive in a run right here. Swings, little grounder over to second, and the throw is made. It's going to be in time for the out. And now Sierra leaves a runner at second as we go to the third inning, scoreless in Rockland. Leading off the third inning for the Pirates, designated hitter Dylan Fuller. Fuller, the number nine batter, wearing nine on the jersey, leads the third inning off. We're still scoreless here in game one of this three-game set this week. Olsen deals. Swing and a miss. One and one. Fuller will be followed by the top of the order batter, Logan Hart, and then Paul Contreras, who had the first hit of the day for the Pirates. The double there in the first inning. Pitch outside, two and two. Another one outside, three and two now from Tyler Olson to Dylan Fuller. Fuller batting 268, gets the walk. And so the Pirates will start with the base runner on first. Now batting no number 14, right fielder Logan Hart. So first walk of the day for Tyler Olson. Hart drops the bat down, pulls it back. It's going to be a strike anyways. Throw over to first. Pitch outside, one and one. Foul one and two. Dylan Fuller, the DH base runner on first base. 
One stolen base so far on the air. Played in 20 games for Modesto. Swing and fouled up and back to the left-hand side. You know, American flag has kind of stopped moving out there in left field. And it doesn't feel like much of a breeze coming under the window here. Swing and a miss. And there is the first strikeout of the day for Tyler Olson coming against Logan Hart. Now batting number seven, center fielder Paul Contreras. So one out and one on. And Contreras comes to the plate. Runner goes. Pitch outside, and Smith not even going to contend. Let's see, he dives out there to save the ball. So a stolen base, and Fuller doubles his total on the season. Strike one on the inside part. One and one. Strike two now to Contreras. Popped it up into shallow right. Owen Faith on the run, unable to get to it. It will drop. But the runner Fuller is going to hold at third. Now batting, number 20, second baseman Bryce Campbell. So two of the three hits now belong to Paul Contreras, a double and now a single. And there is strike one. Runners at the corners for Modesto. Olsen's throw over to first, not going to be in time, but in a good spot. Contreras dives to get back home. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two with one out. Runner goes in the pitch outside. And that Apparently missed. I don't know. Good looking pitch from here. Apparently not from the umpire's vantage. Two and two with one out. That one just misses outside. Three and two. Well outside, and that is going to be the second walk of the day given up by Olsen. Now batting number 23, left fielder Jacob Coase. 
Bases loaded for the Pirates and one out. Wolverines looking for the double play here. As that first pitch, strike one, the Coase. Flew out to center field in his first at-bat today. Swing, fouls it back to the net for strike two. Again, one out. We're in the top of the third inning. 0-0 zero, zero on the scoreboard. That one just missing outside, one and two. It was close. There's the Olsen pitch. Comes in high, evening up the count, two and two. Again, a one out and bases loaded for Tyler Olson. Co swings, and that one going foul off to the right hand side as it flies into the uh, soccer field. Nice big divot out there for the girls. Chopper and the second baseman, Kawashima, tosses to first for the out, but one run will score. That's Fuller, who's the lead runner. And so now runner is only at second and third with two outs. Now batting number 24, third baseman, Aaron Martinez. So Pirates with the lead. One run. On the board. First pitch, strike one to Martinez. Strike two. Grounder up the middle, the shortstop Meyer unable to field the ball. It's going to get past, and two runs will score. Now batting number eight, shortstop Landon Noons. So two runs score, and Pirates extend their lead 3-0. All three runs coming here in the third inning as Olsen throws over to first. Solid hit in the center right. It's going to drop. The long throw coming home. The throw all the way to the plate. And throw a little bit offline. Smith unable to get back, and the runner scores all the way from first base. So Modesto now leading 4 0. Now batting number 16, first baseman Jason Deshaun. Yeah. 
Fielder's choice double and the runner will go stolen base there on third. Four noons. Who also had a hit his first time up at bat. Stole second, and now he just stole third. Hit in right field. That'll be the third out. But Modesto pulling out into the lead. Putting up four runs in the third inning. Leading off of the Wolverines, catcher Connor Smith. Well, Sierra College looking to answer and put some runs up himself. Connor Smith, he's going to be followed by Masa Kawashima, the second baseman today for Sierra. Smith going to go, and field umpire says yes. Yes, indeed, he went. One and one. One and two now to Smith. Wing and a miss. Connor Smith sits down with the strikeout. Now batting for Sierra College, second baseman Masayuki Kawashima. First pitch to Masa outside, ball one. Second strike out of the day for Nino. One and one now to Kawashima. Ball two and one. Kawashima, 5'10", 175 sophomore from... Nihon University in Japan fouls that one off to the right hand side. Ball 
And that one apparently catches the outer edge for strike three. Now batting for the Wolverines, number 14, Brady Ranello. The third strikeout for Christopher Nino. And we return to the top of the order for Sierra. Swings on that, sending it foul down to third baseline. That pitch misses outside, one and one. That one fouled. Let's see. Hit it hard down the left hand side. Base coach just kind of dives out of the way. It was coming right at him. Whoa, and that one inside as Ronello kind of ducks up out of the way and called strike. So we're going to go to the fourth inning. Pirates leading this one 4-0. Leading off to fourth inning for the Pirates, number 28, catcher Carson Kripe. Well, it was tied till that third inning, and Pirates put up four. Wolverines unable to respond, so it's still 4-0. As we start off the fourth. Kripe, the number eight batter, starting things off. He'll be followed by Dylan Fuller and then back to the top of the order, Logan Hart. And that one catches strike one on the outer part of the plate, two and one. Grounder up the middle, and Meyer makes the throw to first for the out. Now batting number nine, designated hitter Dylan Fuller. Fuller was walked in his uh, first at bat today. Stole a base and then accounted for the first run up on the board for Modesto as he swings and misses. Strike one.
0-2 now to Dylan Fuller. Pittman High School in Turlock. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Now batting number 14, right fielder Logan Hart. Only the second strikeout of the day for Olsen. His heart swings and misses. Yeah, an impressive inning for Nino there in the third, striking out three in a row. That one apparently just missing inside, one and one. Wing it checks it up, but nope, that was indeed a strike. Two and two now with two outs. Swing and a miss. That's two in a row for Olsen, and that's going to take us to the bottom of the fourth inning. Wolverines looking to get up on the board. Trail 4-0. Leading off of the Wolverines, left fielder Mason Oliphant. So the first pitch to Oliphant down low for ball one from Christopher Nino. Started today for the Pirates. Just getting warmed up, like I said, last inning. Struck out three in a row. Swing, hard grounder to the third baseman. Makes the throw over. For the first out. Now batting for Sierra College, number 16, right fielder Owen Faith. So one out to Faith, and that pitch down in the dirt gets away. Ball one.
One and one to Oliphant. And that pitch outside, two and one. Sun looks like it's uh, creeping out from behind some of those clouds. As the field brightens up and big smack into deep center field. But going all the way back and making the catch is Paul Contreras for the out. Now batting for the Wolverines, first baseman Devin Carter. Carter swings, sending that one into left, just going to be foul. Didn't see exactly where it landed, but uh, everybody was converging into the same spot, and it was really close to the fence. So Devin Carter going to come back. Again, that little fence uh, for the visitor's bullpen, as well as the fence uh, that separates right field from the soccer field here at Sierra College. They both kind of jet out, and we really can't see the corners on either side. And then there's strike two to the first baseman, Carter. Cohen Meyer, shortstop, is on deck. And here's the pitch. That's going to miss just low and outside, one and two. Swing and a miss, and another strikeout goes in for Christopher Nino. Going to go to the fifth inning. Modesto leading Leading off the fifth inning for Modesto, number seven, center fielder Paul Contreras. And the first pitch to Contreras, strike one. Then Contreras. Two at-bats and two hits today, a double and a single. That pitch missing outside, one and one. That one missing further outside, two and one. Swing and a miss, two and two. Now, I am guessing Contreras is being recruited because we have a couple of college recruiters in the house today. Swing and miss, and the ball gets away. So the throw down to first will get Contreras. 
his first strikeout of the day, but if you count the two from the last inning, that's three strikeouts in a row for Tanner Olson. Now batting number 20, second baseman Bryce Campbell. Pitch from Olsen, one and one. One and two, Olsen. Oh, hard hit in right field. It's gonna get down. And Campbell with the base hit. That's his first base hit of the day. Now batting number 23, left fielder Jacob Coase. So one out and one on. And Coase steps to the plate. Swing and a miss. Sounding like the softball game is underway in back of us. I had said that the uh, Sierra softball field is kind of to my right and just behind us here in the announcer booth. And uh, they are underway. The game's taking place both at the same time. He holds up the swing, and the field umpire says, no, didn't go. Runner goes, and Smith makes the throw. It is not going to get him. It looked like it was in time, but uh, the throw kind of came in on the opposite side of the plate. So he was unable to uh, swing the ball around and down in time. As Campbell did a great job getting down under that throw getting the slide. Nice pitch from Tyler Olsen for the second strike, taking us to the full count against Jacob Coase. Pitch outside, and that's going to be another walk. As Modesto now has runners at first and second. Third walk of the day given up by Olsen. Now batting number 24, Aaron Martinez. So one out, two on. And that first pitch outside. That one inside, Martinez ducks away.
Campbell, the lead runner for Modesto, is on second. The grounder to the third baseman makes the throw in time to second, then to first for the double play for the Wolverines. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Modesto holding on to the lead. Off for the Wolverines, shortstop going Meyer. So, bottom of the fifth inning, and Cohen Meyer swings and misses. Leading things off for the Wolverines, he'll be followed by Elijah White and Zach Jenkins, five, six, and seven in the batting order today for Sierra. Swing, fouls that one back to the net. Swings and sends that one skyward into left field. Getting underneath it, Jacob Coase for the out. Now batting for Sierra College, third baseman Elijah White. White steps up, drops the bunt down, but it comes back foul. Linda Albright checking in, sending good luck to Sierra from Sun City, Arizona. Wow, look at that. You're the best announcer out there last week. Yeah, I know. And unfortunately, sometimes uh, we don't get to hear what goes on. And really, I, I'm, I'm not a play-by-play -play guy. I'm, I'm just a straight announcer. But Stepping up for play-by-play -play duties here is sometimes it's kind of difficult to tell what's going on uh, in the camera. Even when you have it on the big screen TV, sometimes it's difficult to tell, even with uh, high def and everything else that we've been blessed with in today's technology and swing and foul for Elijah White. Yeah, thankfully, uh, if one good thing came out of COVID, it was uh, the fact that we now, you know, are able to live stream and people from far away are able to watch. This was the only way our families were watching uh, back in 2020. Elijah White sends that one into center field. And there is the second out of the inning. Now batting for the Wolverines, center fielder Zach Jenkins. First pitch outside to Jenkins, ball one. Connor Smith on deck. 
swing and sends that one back to the net. Base hit as that one goes into right field and first hit of the ball game for the Wolverines. Now batting for your Wolverines catcher, Connor Smith. First pitch to Smith, just outside. Jenkins, the runner there at first. Has to dive back as the throw comes over from Nino. For the pick attempt. Ball getting loose, but Jenkins not going anywhere. He's going to stay. Pop into left field. Getting underneath it, Jacob Coes for the third out. We'll go to the sixth, Modesto leading 4-0. Leading off the sixth inning for Modesto, number eight, shortstop Landon Nunes. And leading off the sixth inning, Modesto leading this one 4 0 as Landon Nunes steps up, swings on that first pitch, sending it down to third baseline, and it looks like it's going to be foul, as the umpire says. So he'll come back. Noons, who had the hit and then the fielder's choice in his uh, first two at-bats. He's aiming for his third hit today. Noons is uh, number six in the order for the Pirates. He'll be followed by Jason Deshaun, the first baseman, and Carson Craig, their catcher.
Tyler Olson, Wolverines starter, still on the mound in his sixth inning of service today. And that pitch inside, two and one. Three and one. Here's the pitch from Olsen. It's going to be outside and a walk to start off the sixth inning. Now batting number 16, first baseman Jason Deshaun. Well, that was how the uh, third inning started out, and it... Didn't end really well for the Wolverines. And so looks like we're going to have a visit to the mound. And just remind uh, Tyler Olsen that walks are not a good thing when we're dealing with uh, this team. Modesto coming in strong among the leaders in the Big Eight. Just gets a couple quick words, and he is left out there. So Jason Deshaun, the batter, shows the bunt but pulls it back as that is ball one. Drives the bunt, and the pitcher able to make the toss in time. But Deshaun successfully moves Noons over. With the sack bunt. Now batting number 28, catcher Carson Kripe. Six hits on the board for Modesto today. Only one for Sierra. Swing, that one's going into left field. Oliphant runs over, makes the grab. And the runner holds at second. Now batting number nine, designated hitter Dylan Fuller. Two outs for Modesto, top of the sixth. And Fuller steps up, walked in his first at-bat, and then struck out in his second. Swing, that one popped up. Elijah White, the third baseman, drifting over, unable, kind of loses it there. Cohen Meyer comes over and says, I got it from short. And we'll end the top of the sixth. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth. Modesto still leading 4-0.
Leading off for the Wolverines, second baseman Masayuki Kawashima. So the first pitch from Nino to Kawashima, ball one, as it looks like he was uh, thinking about bunning, pull that back. And that second pitch going to be high, 2-0 to Masayuki Kawashima. He's the number nine batter for the Wolverines. He'll be followed by Brady Ranello and Mason Oliphant back at the top of the order. 3-0 and now. And the first strike thrown. Here's the 3-1 pitch. And second strike in a row. Full count now to Kawashima. That one inside for the walk. And Masa is on first. Now batting for the Wolverines, number 14, designated hitter, Brady Ranello. So first pitch to Brunello outside with Kawashima, the speedy second baseman, the only base runner on. That pitch inside, umpire calls that one a strike. Pick opportunity. The ball gets loose. Kawashima is gone. Headed for second. We've seen a back pick uh, get loose earlier from the Wolverines. And that was the first one that would get loose for Modesto. Nettie and Sierra at base this time. Kawashima dances out there at second, back and forth, but still going to be swinging a miss. One and two now to Brady Brunello. Again, bottom of the sixth inning, Modesto. Four runs on the board, all coming in the third inning. And that will be our only score thus far in the game. Manello would like, would like to change it right here. Kawashima on second. Could be the first run of the day for Sierra. That one gets away and Kawashima on his way to third. So no outs. And Brady Ranello would like to have a fir his first RBI of the day for Sierra. Drifts out of the way, and instead he's going to go ahead and take a walk to first as the previous batter who was walked is now on third, and it looks like we're going to have a visit to the mound for Modesto. And looks like the ball is handed off. We're going to have a new pitcher coming in 
for Modesto as Christopher Nino is going to come in or come out and have a seat. Modesto also another team with no numbers on the front of their jerseys. So it's always kind of a challenge as we wait to see what the back of the jersey looks like. Number 17. Now on the mound for Modesto, number 17, Elias Harrington. 6'2", 185 righties. He's a sophomore from Mesa, Arizona, Skyline High School in Mesa, Arizona. Harrington comes in with the 509 ERA. He sits just below Nino, who had a 471. Now batting for the Wolverines, left fielder Mason Oliphant. Ball gets away and Kawashima gets down, slides into home. The ball was away as the ball got loose. Kawashima would be safe and the run scores at home. Masa kind of went down in this awkward slide and it went out, but the ball got loose too. So he dove back, touched, run counted. So Sierra now on the board. Just balls getting away. First the pick attempt at first. And a couple of pitches getting loose at home result in the next as Kawashima takes third and then takes home. Two and one count to Oliphant. Make that three and one with another ball. Lone runner at second now for Sierra. Bunch shown, but pulls it back. Still going to be a strike. Three and two. That pitch well inside. Oliphant sneaks out of the way, and it's going to be another walk. Now batting for the Wolverines, right fielder Owen Faith. Well, three walks in a row given up by Modesto. One from the previous, or two from the previous pitcher, and then one from this pitcher, Harrington, as he walks his first batter. No outs on the board. Two runners on for the Wolverines. That first pitch going to be high for ball one. And a pitch from Harrington outside, ball two. Six and 
Swing, and that one's being sent into center right. It's going, and it's going to drop. Contreras unable to get there in time. The long throw coming in, and it is not going to be in time as the throw was off ever so slightly. And Ranello will score from second. Four two up on the board, and Modesto going to have a conversation. And there is the handoff. So it looks like a new pitcher coming in once again for Modesto. Let's see if I could see his number here. We'll get you that pitcher information. If he kindly turns around. Now on the mound for the Pirates, number 35, Cole Pacheco. Pacheco, six foot five, 235. Right handed sophomore pitcher from Turlock High School in Turlock. Man, he looks 6'5". Now batting for Sierra College, first baseman Devin Carter. So Carter comes to the plate, runners at second and third, trailing 4-2. Holds up on that first pitch, ball one. Three walks in a row. by the previous two Pirates pitchers gotten us to this point. Mason Oliphant, the lead runner on third base. And there is the first strike. Two and one now to Devin Carter. As we see another uh, individual headed out to the visitor bullpen, Modesto. Wanting to get this one back in control. They had the big lead and Sierra now looking like they can close it up here. That pitch sailing outside three and one. No outs on the board. Two runners on. And Devin Carter could tie it up right here. Nope, that pitch outside. Instead, Carter's going to get the walk down to first. The fourth walk of the inning given up by Modesto. Now batting for Sierra College, shortstop Cohen Meyer. Bases loaded for the Wolverines, no outs. First pitch going to be strike one. Masa Kawashima on deck. He started it off. Or excuse me. No, Elijah White 
What am I saying? We're not quite that far yet. Meyer fouled that one back. Oh, and two count to Meyer. And here's the pitch. Swings fouling that one up and back to the right. Popped it straight up. I don't know if that one had enough juice on it to get back to the softball field. We'll see if the uh, noise silences for a second behind us. Softball games get loud. You know that. Nope, they're still yelling. I don't think so. That pitch high. One and two now to Cohen Meyer. Pitch outside, two and two. Down the middle, and that's going to be strike three. First strikeout of the inning. Now batting for the Wolverines, third baseman Elijah White. First out of the inning for Modesto, and Elijah White steps to the plate. Throw made back to home, and so the lead runner is out in white with the fielder's choice. Now batting for Sierra College, center fielder Zach Jenkins. Time to cowbell up, and uh, Little Chopper is going to go foul. So Jenkins and all of the base runners will reset. Swing and a miss, so and two. Zach taking the big swing on that one. Again, two outs now for the Wolverines. That pitch missing outside, one and two. Tough position to be in. Jenkins holds up. Did he go? And field umpire says, yes, he did. And so the Wolverines will leave on three, but close the gap by a couple, and they still trail 4-2. Looks like we have a 
New pitcher on the mound for the Wolverines. Now on the mound for the Wolverines, number 32, Dylan Schmidt. So Dylan Schmidt replaces Tyler Olson after six innings. One, two, three strikeouts for Tanner Olson in today's game. Six hits. Leading off. For the Pirates, right fielder, Logan Hart. Top of the seventh inning now, and the Pirates lead this one 4-2. After the Wolverines, who had bases loaded in this last inning. twice would be unable to add any further to the score. Put up two. The number of walks right there at the beginning of the inning. Got the runners on base. That pitch sails two and two. Swing, that one going to be fouled straight back. Landing right behind us. So I hear the thud on the wet turf. Damp turf, not wet. Sun is definitely shining, and uh, the picture on the screen really reflects it. And there is a strikeout. First batter of the day. For Dylan Schmidt, goes down swinging. Now batting number seven, center fielder Paul Contreras. First pitch, Contreras showing the bunt, pulls it back. I see a number of recruiters over to our right, once again, filming. So definitely interest in Contreras. And there is strike one, one and one. Strike two. Swing and a miss, and that's the second strikeout in a row for Contreras. Second strikeout in a row for Dylan Schmidt, the pitcher as well. Now batting number 20, second baseman Bryce Gamble. Ball 
Bacha swings on that first pitch, sends it deep into left field as Oliphant bounces off the fence, unable to make the grab, the long throw in, and that's a solid double all the way to the fence for Campbell. Now batting number 23, left fielder Jacob Coase. Coase was walked in his last at bat, but has not reached otherwise. And he just pointed, that's an intentional walk? Huh. Okay. Now batting number 24, third baseman Aaron Martinez. So now with two on and two out. Pitch strike one to Martinez. Again, this is the first time that uh, these batters have seen Schmidt. Pitch getting away in the long throw back to second. It was close. It was definitely close, but uh, not close enough. It's Bryce Campbell gets back to second in time. I'm not expecting that long throw from Connor Smith, the catcher for Sierra. Swing the grounder. It's going to get past the third baseman, White. Runner's going to come in. The long throw cut off by Elijah White. And so another run up on the board for Modesto, who extend the lead 5-2. Now batting to Marie, shortstop Landon Nunes. So the base hit just gets through the third baseman, and the one run will score. First run of the seventh inning. Right back to the pitcher. Schmidt looking for the ball. Makes the throw to first. It is in time to end that one. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh as soon as we do a little singing here. And here we are in the middle of the seventh, and it is time. Yes, indeed. Stand up and stretch it out and count it off with me. A one and a two. Take up to the ball game. Leading off the Wolverines, catcher Connor Smith. So Smith to lead things off in the uh, seventh inning for Sierra College. He'll be followed by Masayuki Kawashima and Brady Ranello.
First pitch from Pacheco, ball one. Inside, did it hit him? Apparently not. It was pretty darn close, though. And it looks like we're going to have a conversation here. Coach having a conversation with Connor Smith, the Sierra catcher. Two and one. No outs. Leadoff man here in the bottom of the seventh inning for Sierra, and he swings, fouling that one rearward. So it flies up and back. Two and two count. And the pitch, it'll be a two-hopper over to the third baseman. The long throw made. And the first out on the board. Now batting for Sierra College, second baseman Masayuki Kawashima. Swings on the first pitch, sends it deep into center right. It's going to drop. Kawashima, no stop in here, and is standing at second with the big double. Now batting for the Wolverines, number 14, Brady Ranello. So Pacheco looking back, Ranello fouls that one off to the right-hand side. Well, it's either... Back of the soccer field or uh, in center field over at the softball field directly behind us. Owen won the count with one out. Kawashima standing on second. Pitch from Pacheco, low and outside. Does not get past Kripe. Reaches it out, traps it in the dirt. One and one with one out. Again, low and outside. Two and one the count. Pacheco takes the long walk around the mound. Wing fouls it back to the net. Umpire will get a couple balls. Refill the supply. A couple fouls in a row there. Two and two now with one out. We're in the bottom of the seventh inning. Modesto leading 5-2. And a hit in right field. It drops. Kawashima takes off from second. You know where he's headed. 
and a triple for the Wolverines. And it will score the run. Right fielder unable to get there in time. Now batting for Sierra College, left fielder Mason Oliphant. Strike one to Oliphant. Big hit by Brady Ranello. That's his fourth triple of the year. Ranello takes off for home, going to steal home and gets caught in pickle. And so there will be out number two. Strike two, one and two now with nobody on and two outs. The pitch, they were gonna they were thinking it was gonna be strike three. Just inside, two and two now. Everybody started to take off for the dugout, except for Oliphant. Well outside, three and two. Again, these two teams are going to battle once again this week here. We don't, we're not sure exactly when. Game two is scheduled to take place in Modesto on Thursday, but game three is supposed to be Friday here in Rockland. We're not sure about that one. Time or even date in the swing and a miss. Oliphant strikes out. We'll go to the top of the eighth inning. Modesto leading 5-3. Leading off the eighth inning for the Pirates, number 16, first baseman Jason Deshaun. Deshaun to lead things off for Modesto, followed by Carson Kripe and Dylan Fuller. And there is ball one. Again, top of the eighth inning, Modesto leading 5-3. That next pitch catches the outside corner, strike one.
Big hit from Masa Kawashima. Double gets him on base and allows that next big bat coming in from Ranello, who put up the triple and would score Kawashima. One more up on the board for the Wolverines. But they're still trailing 5-3 here in the top of the eighth inning. Need to hold Modesto here. Be able to close the gap further. We'll see if they can. Hard grounder into sec or into right field, excuse me. In a base hit. For Modesto to start off the eighth. Now batting number 28, catcher Carson Kripe. That was the first hit for Deshaun today. That one apparently missing low. Outside from Schmidt. Ben Dillon came in in the seventh inning. Pitch outside. That's going to be a walk. And the catcher is walking to first. Now batting. Number nine. Designated hitter, Dylan Fuller. So two on right away for Modesto. With no outs here in the top of the eighth. Schmidt turns around, and it looks like we're going to have a visit to the mound for the Wolverines. does not appear that Schmidt is coming out right away. Indeed, coach leaves him in. So another arm is warming up in the Sierra bullpen. The attempted pick there at second, unsuccessful, is that pitch inside. Base runner shows a bunt. Or excuse me, the batter shows a bunt. Base runner does not go. Let's, let's get that straight. Two on for Modesto. Showing the bunt, pulls it back for another ball. Bunts it foul, two and one. Mm -hmm. 
Another bunt drop down. Pitcher throws two first for out number one. Both runners advance. And Coach Evo is going to come out, and it looks like a change is going to be made here. We'll see who that new pitcher is coming out for Sierra. Is indeed Dylan Schmidt coming back. He is walking in. Now on the mound for Sierra College, number 24, Hayden Hughes. So Hayden Hughes, 6'2", 210, righty freshman out of Del Campo High School in Carmichael, comes to the mound for Sierra. Back to the top of the order for the Pirates. And so you're going to have the one, two, three batters coming up next with only one out. So Sierra brings in a fresh arm to face these batters. Dylan Schmidt had taken one complete pass through the batting order for Modesto. Only out coming off the sack bunt that we just saw and moving the two runners over to second and third. Hughes just finishing his warm up. Now batting for Modesto Junior College, number 14, Logan Hart. So still in the top of the eighth with one out, runners at first and second. Hayden Hughes now on the mound for Sierra College. First pitch, strike one on the outside part of the plate. His 12th appearance so far this season. Solid grounder up the middle. That's going to be at least a base hit. Two runs will score. No, pardon me. As... Carson Kripe, the catcher, runs back to third and slides. He was not going to make that second. So one run will score. And now runners at first and third for the Pirates. Now batting number seven, center fielder Paul Contreras. Modesto leading 6-3 in the top of the eighth. Grounder two-third, Elijah White with the long throw across gets the batter. Runner moves over, and so now we have runners second and third. Now batting number 20, second baseman Bryce Campbell. Swings, hits it. 
And Cohen Meyer makes the throw to first in time. And Modesto extends the lead six to three. Leading up the eighth inning for the Wolverines, right fielder Owen Faith. Colt Chaco is still on the mound for the Pirates as Owen Faith swings on that first pitch in missing strike one. Next pitch outside, one and one. That one inside, two and one now to Faith. Again, if you're just joining us, it's the bottom of the eighth inning. Modesto leading this one six to three. And that little chopper going foul. Two and two now to Owen Faith. Faith leading things off here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Another ball takes us to full count. Devin Carter, the catcher on deck for Sierra. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss. Faith will strike out. Now batting for Sierra College, first baseman Devin Carter. The first pitch to Carter outside. Devin was walked in his first and third trips to the plate today. Line that one in the center left. The left fielder dives for it. The ball is not caught. 
And so Carter gets the hit. Now batting for Sierra College, shortstop Cohen Meyer. Nice shot by the first baseman. I mean, it would have been a, an incredible grab had the left fielder actually uh, made that catch, but kind of stretched out there. Wasn't going to happen. That pitch inside. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter on deck for Sierra. Attempt over to first. Not going to be in time. Cut her not too far off. Swing. That one's up and back off to the right-hand side. One and two now. Cohen Meyer. Anthony Martinez on deck for Sierra. Another pick attempt. And Chaco's pitch going to be inside two and two. Taking his time. Pitch outside, three and two now. Wing and that one fouled down and off the ankle, back up. So we'll come back three and two the count with one out. Lone base runner Devin Carter over there on first. Big hit from Cohen Meyer. It's going to go deep into left field. This time, Jacob Coase makes the catch. And so the runner will return. Pinch hitting for Sierra College, number 11, Anthony Martinez. First pitch to Martinez, strike one on the outside part of the plate. Two outs now for the Wolverines. Martinez grabs a hold of that and sends it fouled down the left side. Headed to the bullpen. Come back, try it again. 0 oh, 2 the count. Mm -hmm. 
This is outside. One and two. Ball gets loose, goes off the catcher, Kripe, off of his foot. And so Devin Carter heads for second. Chico walks back to the mound, two and two with two outs. Trying not to let that get, not to let it rattle him. Needs another strike to end this inning and send it to the ninth. Pitch inside, and that is going to hit Martinez. So he'll head to first. Now batting for Sierra College, center fielder Zach Jenkins. Cowbell up. And there's strike one. Connor Smith on deck for Sierra. Runners at first and second. And Smith, or Jenkins, pops that up. Foul on the left-hand side, but it will be caught. And that will end the inning. As we go to the top of the ninth, Sierra trailing 6-3. Well, we are back top of the ninth. Sierra needs a couple of outs and then a couple of runs. If they're going to close this gap. Leading off the ninth inning for the Pirates, number 23, Jacob Coase. Coe is leading things off. He is the cleanup batter today for the Pirates. He'll be followed by Aaron Martinez and Landon Nunes. Swings on that first pitch. Chopper over to the first baseman. Nunes throws it back to the pitcher covering first for the first out. Now batting number 24, Aaron Martinez. First pitch to Martinez, strike one. Mm -hmm. 
Martinez has two hits on the day. That one's going to be his third as it just gets up and over Mark. Uh, it gets it gets up over the third baseman Martinez for Sierra. We've got a lot of Martinez's going on, and that will be the third hit of the day for him. Now batting number eight, shortstop Landon Nunes. So one out and one on. Aaron Martinez is the base runner. Anthony Martinez is our third baseman. And we have another Anthony Martinez over there, too. <laughs> ah, pitch outside, 2-0. and oh. Just missing three and oh now. Attempt over at first. Martinez back in plenty of time. So he dives back to first. 3 0 count. Pitch drifts outside and four straight balls to Landon Noons. Gets his second walk of the day. Now batting number 16, first baseman Jason Deshaun. So two on now and one out. Top of the ninth inning. Again, Modesto leading 9-3. The pick attempt back at second goes wide. And that throw, as it went wide, so he's safe there at third. Fortunately for Sierra, Hughes was backing him up on third, so he was able to make the stop before it went into the visitor dugout. But it looks like the runner, I'm not sure if he uh, jammed his hand when he slid in or what, but kind of grabbing his hand. So Deshaun, the batter, runners at first and third. That pitch outside. And so 1-0 to Deshaun. Another pitch just misses that front outside corner, 2-0. and oh. Down the middle for strike one, 2-1 and one now to Jason Deshaun. Did get a hit in his last at bat. And that one right to the third baseman. The throw is made for the 5 4 3 double play. And Wolverine's going to go to the bottom of the ninth, trailing 6 3.
Looks like we're going to have a change on the mound for the Pirates. Now on the mound for Modesto, number 16, Jason Deshaun. Dylan Fuller now at first base for Modesto. So Fuller, who was the DH, replaces Deshaun at first, who moves to the mound. Wolverines will start things off with Connor Smith, the catcher, batting in the eighth spot, be followed by Masa Kawashima, and then back to the top of the order, Brady Ranello, eight, nine, and one. Trailing by three, Sierra needs some offense. Deshaun, 6'2", 180, sophomore righty. Comes down from Brookings, Oregon. Brookings Harbor High School up there on the beautiful south coast of Oregon, essentially north coast of California. It's right there in the corner. Both the umpires over there uh, talking with Coach Evo, Wolverine's head coach. Bottom of the ninth, guys. Here we go. Leading off the Wolverines, catcher Connor Smith. And Smith's first, first swing fouls it back to the net and strike one, Connor Smith. From the first baseman turn pitcher, Deshaun. Swings on that one and sends it right at his base coach down there at third. Fleet of foot slides out of the way. That's dangerous on those base coaches. Like I was, I was uh, saying right before the game, I was watching the Kentucky-Missouri game last night on ESPN, and the uh, Kentucky base coach took one right in the helmet. Just a hard hit line drive, and it kind of shook him up. Okay, right back at it. Nice pitch, and Smith will go down on the third strike. Now batting for Sierra College, second baseman Masayuki Kawashima. Kawashima lays down the bunt, and it goes foul down the first baseline. So he will come back, try it again. Now Kawashima, who had just hit a double all the way out there to the fence, has power but has no problem also bunting and trying to outrun it. Plenty of speed. One and one. Here in the bottom of the ninth inning, Sierra trailing 6-3. And they have two outs to do it. That one bounces up off the foot, and we'll try it again. So a couple balls just getting away. I'm not sure if Modesto is phoning it in already or not, but 
Sierra has other plans. They'd like to uh, try and tie this one up, possibly take the lead. Well, that's... That kind of day. We'll see. These two teams, again, as we mentioned before, scheduled to uh, contend on Thursday down in Modesto. Kawashima pops this one up. Third baseman runs out of the way. Shortstop himself is going to take it. Landon Noons for the out. And the Wolverines have one more out. Now batting for Sierra College. Designated it here, Brady Ranello. So with these two teams uh, facing each other on Thursday, that one pops straight up, this one to the other side, and the second baseman makes the grab for the third out. That's the ball game. And by a final score of 6-3, to three, Modesto takes game one of the series with your Wolverines. Again, game two is scheduled for Thursday down in Modesto, and Game 3 currently scheduled for Friday back here in Rockland. But due to the weather, be sure to follow social media for any changes in game time or date as the game may change schedule uh, because of the weather. It is scheduled to rain right now on Friday afternoon. So once again, follow us on social media, Sierra College Wolverines. Go ahead and follow them on Twitter. And all updates will be coming across on social media. We thank you for attending today's ball game and supporting your Sierra College Wolverines and any of those who made the trip up from Modesto supporting their Pirates. We thank you again for coming out, and we will see you on Friday or whenever Game 3 takes place here in Rockland.